In this Playwright tutorial, I will talk about how to perform visual testing in Playwright or a, how to perform the visual comparison in the Playwright automation testing. So we will see the two scenarios. So firstly, I will talk about how we can compare the page screenshot. And next, I will talk about how to compare the element screenshots. So let's check the quickly manual test scenario. So firstly, we will go to the github.com slash login page. So we will capture the screenshot of this and we will compare it. And uh, next, we will take the screenshot of this login form where we have the username and password. So we will identify this particular element, this form element and we will compare the element. Now let's go to the VS code and uh, create the fresh spec file here. So here I will give the spec file name as 06 and here I'll say visual testing underscore test dot spec dot ts. So that's it. So here I will go to the one of the spec file and I'll copy the test from here. And I'll come back to the new spec file and I'll paste it here. So here I'll keep it only the skeleton of the test. And then so let's rename the test title. So here I will give test title as visual comparison in playwright. So that's it. So firstly, let's go to the our web page and get the URL here. So I will copy this URL and I will paste it inside the goto method. So it is very easy guys. <clears throat> so just you need to write the one, one line of code that will compare the snapshots. So let me open the source folder also. And what you need to do is here. So simply here we have to write the Say, for example, I want to, now I want to compare the, this particular screenshot, right? This page screenshot. So after entering the URL, so we will be navigating to this page and I want to compare the screenshot of the login page here, right? So what you can do is simply write await, followed by that, right? Write expect. And the inside the expect you need to pass the just page. And after that, here you need to call to the one method called to have screenshot. And inside this you need to specify the screenshot name. So here I will give the screenshot name as github login page dot png. So that's it. So if I run this test, right, it will get failed. So by default, whenever you are developing any script for the visual comparison, so first time it will get failed. So what it does is firstly, it will create the screenshot. This particular line will create the one folder under the chapter three called snapshots. Under that snapshots folder, you'll be finding the screenshot of the github login page so if i run this test right it will get failed and once the test is got failed so that is the expected behavior and eventually what it does parallelly it is going to generate the one snapshots folder based on the spec file so let's quickly run this first time it will get failed so that it will generate the some reference screenshot in the format of PNG. And if you see here, a snapshot does not exist. 
So this is the expected failure whenever you are running the visual comparison test in the first time. And if you see here on the left side, so there is a one folder created with the spec file and followed by the hyphen snapshots. And if you go inside this folder, correct? So here, this contains the one screenshot. It has captured the GitHub login page screenshot. If you see here, so this is our expected screenshot now. Now, if I run the same test once again, so this time our test will work fine. And if you see here, our test is getting passed and here also you can see. So our test is perfectly working fine. Correct. You can run it n number of times. It will work fine. Okay. And if you see here, our test is perfectly working fine and it is not getting filled at all. Right. So this time what I will do is. So I will go back to the our web page and here I will try to enter the something in this username or a email address input box. Okay. Let's inspect this field. So I will identify this email text box by using the ID. So here I'll copy the ID value and I'll put hash and the value. So by using the CSS selector, I'm identifying the username text box. Now by using the fill method, I am going to type something in the username text box. So here I'll say page dot locator and I'll paste the locator value here and I will use the fill method to enter something. So here I'll say play right with type script. So that's it. So right now, so firstly here we are comparing the screenshot. That means we are testing the screenshot or a snapshot. Now I have entered something in the text box. Correct. Now if I take the screenshot of the web page, it won't be matching with the this screenshot what we already captured in the first step. Correct. Now this time again, I'll copy the same line and I will try to assert the screenshot once again. I want to validate the screenshot once again. So this time it will get failed at this line number 13 because screenshots won't be matching. So this screenshot contains the just a sample screenshot. That's a, whenever you log in, sorry, whenever you navigate to this login page. So this is a blank snapshot what we have captured. And after that, we are entering something here and we are trying to compare the screenshot. So this time the expected and actual screenshots won't be matching. So that's the reason our test will get failed. So let's run the test and we will see the playwright test report. And if you see here, so it is failing the at the line number 13. So this is the expected failure. And if I go to the test report, So it contains the all the information about the images. So whenever you are testing the images or a screenshots. So if that related test case got failed and you will be seeing the additional section in the test report called image mismatch. Right. So this information you can see it in the one in the errors also and same details you can see it in the image mismatch also. Right. So if I go to the errors, so here it is displaying you the what is the differences between the 
actual image and the expected image here right so here also you can view the screenshots side by side so there is a small difference guys if you see here so this is our expected screenshot and this is our actual screenshot so after entering some data in the user name text box and here some <clears throat> something got changed below the sign in button and that's a reason and if you see here so here you see the some additional text so this is our expected screenshot correct so if you see the actual screenshot here some additional text is present after entering the username here so that's the reason you can see the so there is a difference between the actual and the expected snapshots so first one is the text box value and here some additional text is present and because of this additional text so it is affected to the already present text so that's the reason it is showing the issues in the below of the this particular text box also here also correct so this is the expected failure and this is how we can compare the page screenshots now let's see how you can compare the element screenshot so what i will do here is i will identify this login form so i will inspect this username and password and if you see here it is highlighting the username and password element so i will use the class attribute and value and i'll put it in the square brackets so here i'm writing the css selector by using the attribute and a value and if you see here it is matching with one of one and it is highlighting the element right so before you copy this particular element locator value so let's create a separate test here so here i will go to the my vs code and i'll copy the same test and i will rename the test title as here i'll say element visual comparison in playwright so i will keep this one as it is so it will get passed and i will comment these two lines And now, so let's identify the element by using the page dot locator. And here I will add the element locator value and I'll assign back to the constant variable called element. So that's it. So let's copy the locator value now. So just now what we have written the CSS selector, I'll copy this one and I'll paste it here. So that's it guys. It's very easy and simple. Now what I will do is, so by using the same method to have screenshot. So I will use the same method to compare the element also. And previously we were passing the page but this time i will pass the element because we want to compare the element snapshots right so first time so it will get fail because uh, we do not have the element screenshot so here i'll say screenshot name as github login form so that's it so first time it will get fail so let it fail doesn't matter so this is this would be the expected failure whenever you are working with the snapshot testing so when you are developing the script so first time it will get failed with the reason a snapshot does not exist at the location so this is the expected failure guys and if i run this time now and it will work perfectly fine 
right so our test is perfectly working fine right now what i will do right once again so once again i will enter the some data into the username text box right so how we did it while comparing the page screenshot now once again i will compare the element by using the same line so line number 25 i will copy it and i'll paste it here and if you see here on the left side so we got the screenshot for the login form also correct so we want to compare this particular element so this got generated when we ran the this particular test first time right so we have seen this test case got failed and that time only it got generated the respective snapshot now this time our test will get failed because so this particular snapshot won't be matching with the whatever the screenshot we are getting it from the web page because we are entering the some text into the username here right so let's run the test now and this time our test will get failed and if you see here so our test is getting failed at the line number 28 so this is the expected failure because there is a some change in the ex expected snapshot and the actual snapshot so let's go to that playwright test report and let's very cross check it here you can go to the errors section or you can even go to the image mismatch section so this is our actual screenshot so this is what we got it from the web page right now the expected screenshot is this one and if you see the difference so almost screenshot is matching the element is matching but so there is a small issue in the comparison right so actual and expected snapshots are matching Ex sorry expected and actual snapshots are not matching here because we have entered some data into the text box right so this is the expected failure and here you can see the clearly where is the issue also correct so this is how you can perform the visual comparison in the playwright automation testing